What's up guys? I'm back with another story. I had so much fun telling my little Wayne story. Decided I would tell you another one. Um, but before I do, you know, if you like these stories, please let me know in the comments. Um, like the video, share it with friends. Um, you know, take something from it. I always try to put like a little message or something at the end. Um, from what I learned or took from these stories, these experiences. So maybe you can or maybe a friend can or, you know, if this one isn't for you, then maybe the next one will be. So um, let's jump into it. So how many of you guys remember this play right here? That Ryan on first down. All right, so let's take a deeper dive into like how I was able to make that play. Um, Saturday nights, uh, before the game, I would sit in a special teams meeting and I would like watch film. During the special teams meeting, I would be watching like a game or some cut ups or whatever of the team that we were playing. So this night I was watching the Atlanta Falcons and the Green Bay Packers. Um, they had played them in week two and we played the Falcons in week three. And so I'm watching the game, and they got out to the red zone, and they ran this play. And I don't know what it was at the time, but something caught my attention in this play. What caught my attention was Matt Ryan did like a little can-can. He just did like some kind of like little check. You know, you can see it on this play right now. He did like a little check or whatever. Um, when he did that, it kind of caught my attention. Um, and the play that they ran off of it is a play that we've talked about a lot as safeties or whatever that we can make this play. Um, Got to get a good read on the quarterback, but we can make this play. And so I started looking at it over and over and over. And I went out the game and I started looking at cutups of that one exact play of all the other times they had ran it. And I started to notice a couple trends. Um, I noticed that most of the time when they ran it, Matt Ryan would do like a little can-can, like, like a little check or whatever. Um, another thing I noticed was the area on the field that they ran it in was kind of in that like backed up, you know, 15 to 30 area range um, field position wise. And another thing I noticed was that a lot of time it came from like condensed formations looking more like a run formation. And... The last thing I noticed was the receiver that wasn't getting the ball, he wasn't even running the route. He wasn't even expecting the ball. He was literally just running right at the safety to try to get in the way or to try to be a natural pick for the receiver that catch the ball. Um, like if you check out this play that they ran against the Carolina Panthers in 2016, you can see Julio Jones catch the ball. Muhammad Sanu on the other side really isn't doing anything but just trying to be a decoy. And Julio catches the ball, runs out the back door. Muhammad Sanu is like a lead blocker, blocks the guys. He goes for 75 yards. So I'm looking at all these plays and I'm like, man, I think I got something. I think I got like something concrete that I can go into a game and feel like I can make a play. So I go to Slay because Slay is the guy that's going to be on Julio. So I go to Slay, and I'm like, Slay, I, I think I found something, bro. It's pretty cool. Show him, like, dude, this, 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 like, these cans, they make these checks. Boom, they, this is the play that they running, bro. So I'm like, you got to have my back, though, because if I go to make this play, mind you, I'm the middle field safety. If I leave the middle of the field, then we don't have a middle field safety. And if they don't run this play and they go, like, deep or something like that, we ain't going to have nobody back there. Slave's like, bro, I got you, man. Like, I got you. Let's go make this play. So we get in the game, and they, you know, it's a Florida game. They come out of the huddle. So, like, one of the first, their first plays right under two minutes, I think. Um, and they come out in this formation. And, like, I didn't notice at the time, but if you look at this play, it's the exact same formation that they used in the Green Bay game. They just flipped it. You know, that's what offenses do. They think they're smart. They just flip the play or, you know, do a little different motion. They run the same plays over and over. Um, but I didn't notice that at the time. But the thing that I did notice is when the tight end went in motion and he came back, they knew we were in man-to-man. -man, and guess what Matt Ryan did? Ken Ken, whatever he did, right? When he did that, something clicked in my head like, this is it. 
I started looking. I saw Julio Jones was tight. I saw Muhammad Sanu was in the slot. So it was like this condensed formation. They just tried to make it look a little different to me at the time. So I'm like, this is the play. This is the play. This is it. So I'm calling Slay. Slay! 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 The play is coming. Right? Slay kind of looks. He's acknowledging me. You know, because obviously he's on Julio. So he's trying to keep his eyes on Julio. But he's like, oh, okay, I got you. I got you. They snap the ball. Play fake. Matt Ryan comes out and he looks. When he did that, I just took off. I went. Um, and he actually threw the ball. A lot of times DBs make great breaks on the ball. And quarterbacks don't throw it. But he actually threw this one, and I was able to catch it, take it back for a pick six. Um, it's a great moment for me, great play, um, great moment for our team, great moment for the fans. Four field was rocking at the time. Um, so that was, uh, that was a dope, dope moment. Um, but let's look at the lesson and, and, like, how that actually happened. For one, the preparation, preparing, trying to find every little detail that you can to, to get an edge, right? For two, the trust, the trust that I had in Slay and Slay had in me to have my back and him trusting that I can go and make that play. Three, the focus in the moment to be able to recognize, to be able to fall back on those little clues that you had gotten and recognize it while 80,000 people are screaming and you're in the heat of battle and you're doing whatever you got to do to be able to focus and say, this is it. Four, the courage to go and pull the trigger. So many times we might think we know something or have a good feeling, a good idea or whatever, and we're afraid to pull the trigger. You know, it could be very um, frightening to screw up, especially in front of 80,000 people when all they want to do is critique you anyway. But having the courage to not be wrong, to not be afraid to be wrong, to not be afraid to mess up when you know somebody got your back to go and make that play. Um, and last thing is just selflessness. You know, Slate could have been selfish in that moment and been like, nah, bro, I ain't got your back. Like, nah, I'm, I got to cover Julio. He could have been like, nah, bro, I'm going to make that play. Like, I need that pick. I want that pick. Like, whatever. But for him to be in that moment, like, hey, you can go and make that play. I got your back. You know, that was that was a huge moment. So none of those things go, you know, unnoticed. Like, as players, you know, we we, we, we recognize that. We understand that. We congratulate. We help each other out. Um but that's a cool play, you know, and, you know, like I say, these stories are things that I've learned, things that I've experienced, things that I've witnessed um, throughout some of my years, throughout my life. And I just want to share them with you guys because maybe you can learn something. Maybe you know somebody who can learn something, you know, maybe who knows, you know what I'm saying? So just um, share it with a friend. If you, if, you know, if you know somebody, like it, comment, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, that's how that play happened. Check it out one more time before we get out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Stay safe. Matt Ryan on first down, and it's intercepted.